A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. Now this message is a message that I am very glad that I am relaying because a lot of people actually need to understand that they may be living under a lot of stress because they are trying to impress other people, people who are around them, people who live nearby them, people who know them well, people who are in their family people who are in their friend circle, their partners and the family members of the partners. And in this case, like a lot of people could be in separation and they may be in guilt and shame or they may be upset because they feel that they could not really impress someone who they liked. They were not perfect for that person. So... When you try to impress other people or the person you feel you love or they love you, then your energy will actually go wasted in trying to look like their choice of a person, not your own choice of person. The message that was given to me was that perfection is a mental disorder. I even shared a very nice post on it. You guys can check it out on the community page. So most perfectionists, they miss out on many things in their life. And at the end of the day, they are simply a narcissist who is a people pleaser, who is getting validation from other people. And a lot of people have noticed this. I am sure you guys have also noticed it. A lot of people actually look up to people who come across as perfectionist they are trying to create a perfect image a perfect lifestyle a perfect personality and they are also quite likable now i must say that most perfectionists are quite likable but i can also say that they may not be the happiest people they may be having a lot of anxiety a lot of stress and they may not be really enjoying being who they really are. So the post, I'll also share the lines from the post because this is actually in sync with the channeling. There is no need for you to be perfect to impress others. Okay. Now, if you are perfect, like there are some people who are genuinely very good. And they may come across as this person is perfect, you know, they have everything. And we have also said these statements for many celebrities, for many good looking models or when we look at people who are in relationships, very high profile relationships, high maintenance relationships. We have always looked at them and we've said, wow, they look perfect. They look perfect, but you don't know if they are perfect or not. Because perfection is literally like a game. It's literally you want to be liked by someone. So you're going to do everything that you can to make that person like you. But you can't do it all the time. You can't do it like every single day of your life or every single moment. It's very taxing. It's very hard to be that perfect and to be that nice. You can be close to perfection or you can be naturally a chilled out person. So people should actually get impressed by how you deal with your imperfections. Now this is the statement that really makes a lot of sense because in the previous channeling I really felt like talking about the song I am imperfect. The inspiration for that song Actually, it was a download, to be very honest, but I have done different types of downloads. I've done downloads which have music. I have done downloads like a whole book. I do downloads on a uh, YouTube channel. Sometimes they come to me like a story. Sometimes they come to me like guidance. Sometimes they come in the form of a reading. Sometimes they come as channelings. Sometimes they come as love letters. So there are different types of, you know, downloads that I receive. So when I received I am imperfect, it was really a very uh, upgrading down, download. Like it would, it made me feel that I had upgraded ever since I started writing it down because sometimes the, uh, the channeling, the download is also coming in the form of writing. 
you don't know what you're going to write on the piece of paper but you still end up writing it like one line upon one line upon one line and suddenly you see that so many lines you have written that are so powerful and they are actually answering the questions that i had asked so i have been writing these songs and composing the music for it for my own self a lot of the things that i've done is actually for my own self but after a point i've realized that maybe it could benefit other people as much as it has benefited me maybe or maybe not but if it can then wow it will be so nice so i've been getting these music related downloads in since uh, 2013 and 14 before that also i used to get it but i would not bother about it i would be like okay i is just a it's just something in my head or just a tune or just some lines so i would write it down because i've been writing since a long time but i would not develop it and sometimes it would not look like a proper statement it would look like uh like you know a verse so it could get confusing but the more i did in our work the more i started going deeper and deeper and deeper and started spending a lot of time by myself a lot of practice was going into whatever i was doing mindfulness awareness i realized that the downloads became more and more clear and they would always come after i would ask a question so once i had asked and imagine this is so many years back once i had asked uh like what is what really changes our life like what what actually happens how does it how do we fix our life and i was given this really cool download which told me that it's the feelings that change everything but it came in the form of a song and it was an absolutely original song i had not heard it anywhere it was literally i just wrote it down and the tune was given to me everything was given to me i think i remember going to a friend of mine was uh, music into music production and he was like hey you should actually turn it into an album and this and that you should uh, record some music and it would be so cool this type of a song people are going to love it or like it or whatever and i was like what if they don't or like uh, it doesn't really matter right now it doesn't matter so some of the people who were around me at that time who were into the music thing or music industry you could say they would really really tell me like you should do it you should do it you should do it but i never felt like doing it in that manner so i am imperfect came to me at a really important juncture of my life and i was told that it's not it's not really important to be perfect what's important for you is to be real is to be yourself is to be bold be courageous be be you and just before that uh almost two years before that or one year before that yeah i know time kind of time is also a concept that i'll discuss with you guys i had made some like really good vlogs on it on sunamoon vlogs but i deleted it in in on some day i was like a little pissed off so i deleted almost 70 80 videos that day so one of the video that i had done back then was on time how to understand that time is actually an illusion and there is really no such thing as time that can rule our lives but we still get ruled by it and in many cases you would notice that when people start doing inner work they start appearing younger they start looking better they literally look like they have instead of aging they've actually turned around the process of aging they look more happy more energized if you ask these people also they'll tell you the same thing that i've never felt this way before i've never felt this energized this happy this relaxed this comfortable in my body in my own skin i've never been this way and they will tell you about inner work i was once reading the book called the monk who sold his ferrari i have not read the whole book i'll be very honest uh but i read the initial the first part of it and that also talks about how this guy used to be uh very different he used to look different and after the inner work after the ascension he started changing and he had changed considerably he looked much younger he mu- looked much happier he looked very calm and very relaxed and he was 
sharing it with other people and that's why the story is the monk who sold the ferrari because it's not the ferrari that makes you happy why do people buy mercedes and ferraris and all these fancy cars why because in the market or in the world it is being like program that if you have these things with you you are going to be perfect and if you are perfect you will be likable you will be liked but let me tell you this is my own experience i have seen this happen if you are too perfect people will treat you like a commodity you'll no longer remain human you'll either remain a brand you will turn you'll be turned into brand by the big wigs like it happens with most people in the media industry or in the entertainment world who work under shukracharya who work under venus I don't know how many of you heard that particular channeling but I had mentioned that there are different types of media related work that people can do one is under the influence of venus which will obviously promote what venus promotes lust and more of uh, venus is shukracharya guru shukracharya is the teacher is the master of the demonic agents actually the asuras the rakshas but we don't really you know when it comes to talking about them we don't really still look down upon them because some of the asuras and some of the rakshasas are also born with certain humanitarian qualities so from ramayan you can say vibhishan was like that mandodri was like that they were both born in rakshas kul but they were extremely humanitarian and they were really good with inner work they were the people who helped lord shri ram and sita mandodri helped sita on and off and vibhishan obviously helped uh lord shri ram he surrendered to lord shri ram and then he helped him so from the story of ramayana and mahabharat we know we figure out that many people may be born in a certain way but they have lot more love and compassion so that's why you should not uh look down upon people based on you know how they are physically or whatever their characteristic is but you can actually and you should judge them because see judgment i don't know why people have made it such a negative word judge oh they are judging me oh they are judging me so nobody is actually always judging other people or you know in general judgment is not a bad word if it was a bad word then why are so many legal systems why do they have judge judges over them why do they have to make the decisions why do the judge have to be very experienced and they also have to be very uh humanitarian by nature because sometimes being a judge is an important activity that you need to do so you need to also judge people from the perspective if they are right or wrong for you if they do match with your frequency or not do you need to forgive someone do you need to love someone do you need to give to someone do you need to receive from someone do you need to ignore someone do you need to be a bit strong to someone do you need to be a bit rude to someone be a bit <laughs> so many things are there right so from that perspective judgment is not a bad word so people based on what they do professionally what they do in their materialistic reality how do they conduct themselves and how do their energy make you feel not their personality not their face not their body not their money and all but energetically how do they make you feel do you feel uplifted in their energy in their presence do you feel like they understand you better than other people do you feel they are kind towards other people and do you feel that they are more real and authentic so we need to understand that we are all imperfect we all have flaws okay although if you look at the universe if you look at all the beings if you look at your own human body it's an amazing science even though a lot of people are playing with that people are doing surgeries people are uh i'm still okay with you know makeup and i'm still okay with little bit of things that men and women do it's all right but when people go extreme you know when they are changing their genitals they are taking hormones they want to feel a certain way lots of people they want to feel a certain way but they are not embodying and accepting how god has made them maybe the way god has made them the way universe has made them it is the best for them and it is a great experience to actually be who you are but they don't reach that part because they are not willing to deal with their imperfections with the flaws and these flaws are actually flaws 
because of how humans look at it if you look at nature nature will not find anything wrong in anything in fact when you move to the fifth dimension or the higher dimension you will realize that these very flaws the day you accept them the people you don't like even when you accept them and acceptance does not mean that you have to literally go and hug everyone or you have to be around them acceptance simply means that you know who is who acceptance really means that you know who is who and you're okay with that if you see a horrible person in front of you like you know and i'm seeing 1717 17 while i'm talking to you about this so let's also check first what is the message by the number 1717 17, which is coming right in time and then i will go back to explaining what i was explaining okay so 1717 17 is actually a very favorable omen which indicates that you may be on the path to achieving your goals and angel number 1717 17 tells you that you have an essential life and soul mission to complete wow like it just happened right and it's going with whatever we were discussing now for twin flame like if you are still struggling a lot with twin flame and you have been experiencing separation then you need to control your ego and keep a close eye on your behavior being too proud prevents you from maintaining love in your life and you have to struggle to communicate openly and honestly with your partner that's number 1 and i think this is more for people who are in close knit uh, you know they are not like separated in a way that they are living away from each other they could be separated because of many reasons they could be under the same roof but they could be separated i also strongly feel that it's also a message for people who are in a ego which is not making them proud or anything but which is more like self critical so people who criticize themselves a lot even they have to struggle in maintaining love and in maintaining communication so if you feel that maybe you are not you know into that uh, zone anymore the dark night phase or the very hardcore separation phase where you are in lot of pain then it could be a very good omen and if you are literally if you're thinking about something if you're doing about something and this channeling popped up then definitely it's a sign that you must go ahead and even from this perspective like the ego watch that's also a good message according to me because we all have some or the other issues and i have already mentioned that ego necessarily also doesn't only mean an arrogant person or a very uh proud person or a narcissist type of a person who is malignant a malignant narcissist sometimes ego also is attachment to a very you can say a personality that you have a personality but it's a very sad personality you are too attached with the excessive pain and misery that you no longer need like pain and misery is good but when you have the illusion or delusion of pain and you are still suffering you may be suffering even though there is no apparent reason for you to suffer only because you have gotten attached or you've gotten programmed to a certain type of personality you may have picked it up from your mother brother some elderly person father somebody you know around you in your childhood you saw that they were constantly getting attention from other people by you know talking about how sad they are how miserable they are how nobody loves them how nobody cares them in reality that may not be true and in reality they may also not be feeling that way you know but they could be doing this because they understand that if i do this if i talk like this people will pay more attention to me or they'll start hanging out with me they'll have some sympathy and it's nice in a way you know to have so many people but that's also an insecure person right i think most people have confirmed that it's a very favorable omen and it's also connected to intuition and it's also connected to you having someone with you like a master or a angel and an angel a guardian angel who is literally with you like they they are giving you everything that you need the power the strength the courage so you are in very good space okay there are both these meanings that i shared with you 
so coming back to explaining acceptance basically you know that there are certain bad people in your neighborhood or you know that there are some very selfish people in your neighborhood or in your office or in your say friend circle but yeah they won't be in your friend circle but you might know them and every time you see them office marketplace maybe you go to work out at some gym and you know that there's a bunch of people who just are very negative and attention seeking or maybe it's some relatives in your family and some of you could be in a relationship with a person you could be married or engaged you may be very happy with that person but they have lot of other people like their mother father brother sister somebody or the other is quite annoying and you know that you can't get out of it and you know that you also are dealing with these people because you have a good person in your life but they've all come with this person as a package deal right so you can't do much about it you just have to like tolerate them so the only way to feel peaceful and the only way to enjoy your life is to not react to who is what like you know they may not be nice people they are selfish they are evil or in some cases they could be just very over privileged in some cases they could be full of fears like i said not everybody is a malignant narcissist some of them are really unknowingly they are like that they are innocent you know but they are still narcissistic but they are innocent they don't know like even if you tell them everything like you should do this you should do that they don't have the guts they don't have the courage to get themselves out of their situation they will continue to suffer in front of you and you can't do anything about it and that's sometimes it's very sad you know like you know that all these people can live very happily all these people can enjoy all these people can actually choose to be in a better reality but they don't and because you are associated with them you have to like watch them go through all those low frequency lifestyle related activities or just be so full of craving to be wanted by others to be liked by others they are living in a bubble they are trying to prove something to others they are trying to you know get other people to want them to praise them to talk about them to be all around them but why why would you want that like a sensible person would want to be all by themselves a sensible person a healed person a very spiritually mature person that person would love his or her own company a lot they will quietly do everything and they will just kind of enjoy the momentum they will enjoy the changes they will enjoy the people and this reminds me once again of guru nanak dev ji's story about that goat i don't know how many of you heard it in a previous channeling but i'll quickly repeat it because it's a very nice story and it goes well with the context and it's sort of i think it's a very important part of the ascension journey to actually become just an observer it sounds very cool to say yeah i'm an objective observer but imagine becoming an objective observer all the time like staying in that energy my master used to say used to use the word tamasha he used to say that just look at it like it's a tamasha like it's a show don't get too involved in it just watch it like it's a show like sometimes we watch the show and we do get emotional right but we don't relate with those people we don't say like okay bring this person out from the tv screen or the theater and i'll carry this person with me no we watch the show we talk about the show we say yeah it was a good show we review it and then we come back we are not getting triggered by it we are not reacting to it and we also understand that it's just a story there are some stories which are horrifying there are some stories which are romantic there are some stories which are like plain dumb stories there are some stories there is that you know different types of stories are there so you just need to accept it like that so guru nanak dev ji had obviously reached that level he was an ascended master and because he was so high in his ascension he was also trikal darshi and he could also see what person was what character or what where was he born or where was he living in his past life 
so there was this man and there was a goat and they were both like going through this tussle this war so this man would keep throwing the goat out of the house throwing as in not literally throwing but pushing it out moving it out but the goat would keep coming back and he would go and sit inside the bedroom or wherever you know he would find space and it's so good it's not even a dog or a cat that you know human beings can adopt and be like yeah come on you can sleep on my bed or you can hang out with me it's a goat so most people actually keep goats because they want to eat the goat it's food for them right mutton hmm so they don't see like the goat has life in it or anything so this goat was very irritating or very annoying he would keep walking into this man's house and then the man would scream and shout and keep it out and maybe hit the goat also with a stick or something but the goat would just not listen it became too much that the man was really like i don't know what to do with this goat like this goat is just not leaving me some way or the other sometimes from the entrance sometime from the back door like how does a goat even know how many entry points are there to my house and while this man was getting all triggered and troubled and the goat was getting beaten up the watcher there was a person who was sitting next to gurunanak dev ji and watching everything and he was like oh this is so sad he was feeling bad for the goat like if you're an animal lover if even i am there and somebody is harming an animal i would feel bad right i would go and say like hey stop doing it or if you can't uh, do that if you don't have the authority you might just feel bad about it so he was feeling very bad about the whole situation why is this man beating this goat again and again and why this stupid goat going inside into the same house so gurunanak dev ji started laughing and when he started laughing this man was very shocked he was stupefied and he was like he was like why why are you laughing this is such a sad scene to watch like this is making me really troubled and in pain to watch this whole thing why are you finding it funny he's like it is funny that's because he could see more than what other people can see right so what he could see was that this goat was actually this man's father in the past life and when he died he could not let go of the son or of the house actually he was more connected to the house because he may have might have built it up might have spent his whole life investment and earnings and what not this is how most people buy houses right and yeah i mean it also gives them security to find a place where they don't have to move out from again and again it's their permanent place it's their home so this goat or this man who died during the moment when he was leaving his body he was so attached with the house that he simply could not move on he simply could not leave and so at the same time a female goat was giving birth it was she was in labor labor pain or labor was going on and the man's soul became a goat baby who was a human and now even though he is a goat he still remembers that he is the owner of this house he is the father of this man and he doesn't want to listen to him and he cannot even explain to him that look even though i am a goat but this is my property and you are my son and i want to be in my house not in the shed outside not with other goats so looking at this whole scenario Guru Nanak Dev Ji, who can actually see the whole thing, he was laughing. He was finding it funny, which I think when you listen to the end of it, even you find it funny. So that's why they say that your whole life is very important. You can't not like do inner work, and at the time of your death, find a better place, because death is. We see death like. in so many things every time we get scared every time we are full of fear we are experiencing death because you always feel that nothing can work out nothing can happen you feel sad about the whole situation you don't know what to do sometimes it feels like there's no solution to the problem that you're in i remember when we were children the day i would be getting my exam results i would always be freaked out always and today when i look back at my life i don't even care about those exams those times where are they it just 
it's just over but at that point in time it used to be so heavy because of the heavy duty programming that they're done that you need to score this much you need to score that much now we have to please the parents the teachers the neighbors the other children like it 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 was like a competition you know it was a competition it was a mad competition that we all have to go through like we all have to be good at it like if there are 70 students in a classroom how is it even possible that all 70 will score the best marks but parents don't understand that they expect every single child to score above 90 and get a distinction maybe the child is far too intelligent already and obviously now that you are in ascension journey now you are more wise than you were many years back you know that this is not even proper education education is knowing about what we are talking is to accept your flaws and is to always know and remember that every problem has a situation sorry a solution and every situation is not the final or the permanent destination there will be more situations more 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 so attaching to the good things and attaching to the bad things is not the ideal thing attaching to the truth being the lover of truth that is the ideal thing to do because people who love truth people who stick to truth they don't really care about people not liking them people not hanging out with them they being in a group all the time you know they being in like friendships which are 20 years long 30 years long god knows trying to prove to the world yeah we are best friends but inside there is so much envy jealousy there is no real love it's all about control and power that you got to do this for me if you want to be my friend you got to do this for me if you want to be my girlfriend or my boyfriend or my husband or my wife or my employee or my this or my that how many people actually really live their life on a day to day basis like every day is a new day for them and they don't get affected by anything that happens they are like the lotus in the pond and yes this was the other statement that was given to me that you all have to be eventually you'll all be the lotus in the pond you will be in the pond because i was asking like then how i had this question like you know if you're around so many people who want you to be perfect or maybe you don't care about being perfect or likable but there are definitely people that you don't like and sometimes it's very annoying that when you're ignoring people or you don't want to deal with them you don't want to see their face you don't want to hear their voice that's the time they are dancing in front of you even more or you just want to be yourself but there's a huge drama like you just say what you feel you can't tolerate something you can't tolerate falsehood you can't tolerate people being too fearful and paranoid and acting it out and then gaining everybody's attention so you speak up you say what the hell is this man don't do this or we don't need to go through this and that's the time it's happening so what should you do at that time i asked this question today only because this download was given to me and i was told that you still have to be a lotus in the pond you have to be you have to be inspired by the lotus sometimes the water lily or the lotus it's not in a very beautiful pond it's not like the water is very green and very nice but just with the way it blooms just with the way all the water lilies are they make the whole place look beautiful they create their own frequency they create their own dimension and they don't care about anything they're just blooming and they're just chilling in their own ecosystem and they obviously don't flourish in dirty water but when they say lotus in the pond we know that sometimes ponds are not places where you can swim or you can hang out because you know there can be snakes or there can be some kind of a a lot of murk has got collected the green layer has got collected on top of the water surface so sometimes you are like it looks very beautiful maybe i can take like a small kayak or a small boat also some people do that because you know uh, in many countries lotus the root of the lotus is actually consumed as a vegetable so sometimes people actually pluck it and that's how they pluck it the sellers the vegetable sellers so people also do farming for it when we were kids it was very popular dish actually a lot of people used to eat the lotus root but nowadays i think in the past 10 15 years also i have not seen it 
otherwise it used to be locally available in markets so every time i look at a lotus it makes me i don't know why but i get very meditative and i get lost into its energy and when i was a child i used to look at a lot of gods and goddesses being seated on the lotus flower so i started questioning and again at that time i received a download which may sound a little bit impossible but hey come on in the mystical realm there's nothing impossible i was actually told that the lotus flower is used by a lot of high beings to cross from one dimension to another that's why you see a uh, lot of gods and goddesses when they are in astral projection form or when they are you know intergalactically traveling they are seated on the lotus so that was very fascinating download and i was like wow no wonder the lotus or the water lily has this really amazing energy like it is so calming and so peaceful and that's the energy as per the download was given to me that's the energy you need to have be the lotus be the water lily in the middle of the pond or the lake because there are lots of water lilies and lotus that grow in the lake and they sometimes they're found in the middle of the lake somewhere again i remember i was in pokhara and i was traveling and there was this girl she used to live on the mountain and her house was literally in a place where you could not travel by road you have to take a boat so we and me and her we actually used to row the boat from the marketplace we would just because there were many boats just lying there nobody steals the boats like what will they do with the boat right so people don't steal the boat so you leave the boat behind and you go to the market you buy the groceries you sit on the boat again and you go back to wherever the house is and there were hardly 6 7 houses in that area so it was a beautiful place and it was a beautiful lake and the first time i went to that house it was full moon night so the water lily in the middle of the lake was looking so so beautiful there's probably a video also on instagram i had shared maybe i'll look for that video and probably share a vlog some day i don't know so all in all what i want to say is that i've always felt that there is some magical uh, energy around this flower so what is that statement that i was reading out that i had shared today a very 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 nice post actually so let them get let the people get impressed by how you deal with your imperfections how you accept your flaws and how you manage to shine during your dark phase because that is the time when you're actually shining in the darkness only your shining will impact the most people so don't worry about the difficult situations don't be scared by these situations yes you will see a lot of people getting scared and you'll see a lot of people maybe challenging your authority and not knowing your authority they may may not be aware about how knowledgeable how spiritually mature you are how intelligent you are you might know that they might not know that and sometimes you might be thinking that what am i doing with these bunch of fools and idiots who keep reacting or who keep you know getting scared or they are not acting in a bold courageous way like how do i even deal with these people how do i take them all along with me and you know solve a problem where everybody is going in different directions so you need to think in your head that it will all work out because we are not the doers the masters are the doers source is the doer we are simply a vessel we are simply a vehicle and we are just here to be in the middle like a medium okay so actually the work is being done by them and if you are specifically you feel like yeah i do have a mission in life i do have a higher purpose i'm not here just to be trapped in these minuscule or these lame things these pointless things i don't want to be a part of these negative situations sometimes you have to do it while you're into it okay so how you manage to shine during your dark phase is what is brilliant and you're born to be real and not perfect so this song also i'm imperfect if you want to listen to this song please drop in a message that yes you want to listen to i am imperfect the full song people have heard the initial part the bits and pieces of it but they have not heard the whole song till the end if you want to hear it out then please drop a comment and let me know that yes you are ready for becoming a person who's bold and courageous enough to say that i am imperfect do whatever you want to do i'm not perfect i'm not going to go through this mental agony of being perfect and being like 
pleasing everyone sometimes i feel very bad for the celebrities or people who want to be popular and who want to have a lot of followers and who want to be like yeah these many people follow me i'm so cool like most people most intelligent people know that you can buy the followers you can buy the views followers or whatever so in so many people's cases their following or followers are not even real and organic it could be just uh, purchased but when you purchase people or followers you no longer purchase them they have purchased you remember that because they want you to act walk talk and act like they like you so if you share a video let's say you share three four dance videos and people like those dance videos next time you share something else they may not like it and that could hurt you like oh my god i shared this and they didn't even care about it right but the idea is to keep doing whatever you love and whatever you enjoy and not care about the validation or the stamp or the approval that other people give you because you don't have to depend on them for your dopamine dosage like you can create your own dopamine it's all inside you we all have dmt inside us we all have those chemicals the happy chemicals too and we can all create them by eating well by sleeping on time by exercising every day by loving animals by taking care of environment by being nonchalant that's the deal being nonchalant right you don't have to bother about these problems you just have to be real and authentic you just have to be yourself that's it good things bad things they happen but perfection surely is a mental disorder and one should not really focus on being so perfect all right you can show your love and support by becoming a lifelong or whatever time i'm here on this planet you can be a pat- patron and you can tell me that yeah i want you to continue making the content and you can also get my book in the name of love which is a journey of finding your ultimate soulmate and you must read this book it's a high vibrational book and because it is the journey of finding your ultimate soulmate like you're on that journey right and through these wonderful stories that were given to me via mystical and divine intervention if some day i sit down and talk about it how i got these five stories maybe we'll do that also for personal situations and booking yourself into therapy you can check out the description box all the information is over there and once you're sure to get any then you go ahead and you do it and then once you do it please let me know that i have done it because sometimes you only get the notification with the name like so and so has booked this session or booked this or paid for this but nobody contacts me like it doesn't happen all the time but it happens on few occasions and every time it happens it creates a lot of confusion so i don't want that confusion to happen to anybody and especially for me also and uh, do not share please do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me because we do a lot of work during therapy and personal sessions as soon as you book the reading or as soon as you book the therapy energy work has already started i'll be sharing some steps i'll be telling you okay this is the next step you need to do this and then we'll do this and we obviously ask for so many stories from you you have to write them down and give it to me you have to fill some forms so there's a process and i use a lot of amazing wonderful spiritual modalities and tools and it's all because of my masters and source and i'm hugely 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 thankful to them and i think all the credit i honestly feel all the credit goes to them and only them so i'll see you soon in another one thank you so much for doing wonderful inner work thank you so much for being so positive and loving and kind and also a badass when it's required i'll see you soon in another one one love and peace out and jay shri ram